Yo guys, what's good? Today we'll do a portfolio review and we will analyze, you know, like the output of a coding bootcamp. And the coding bootcamp that we will look at today or the student of the coding bootcamp that we'll look today is called General Assembly. And it's a bootcamp that's charging anywhere between 15 to $17,000. And I want to look at the output, like what do you get out of it? And the reason why I'm making this video, to be honest, is because in the past couple of days or so, couple of weeks, I started reaching out to bootcamp grads, you know, on LinkedIn. I always do that whenever I see someone that is in need of my service, I reached out, I reach out to ask, hey, do you need help with this? And I've been having so many conversations with people from General Assembly and they always kind of seem to hate me because what I usually say in my YouTube videos and on LinkedIn is to stop networking fix your skills, upgrade your skills, become super valuable, and then go out there and apply, go out there and network. But you cannot just network for the sake of networking. Let me give you an analogy so you can understand, okay? Imagine you go out to a bar and you wanna get a girlfriend, right? You wanna, you wanna hook up with someone. And you have a t-shirt, and this t-shirt has like a huge pizza stain on it, okay? You have some olives, you have some mozzarella. It looks like a disgusting t-shirt. And then you go out to every single girl in the club and then every single girl rejects you, you'll end up hooking up with a homeless guy that sleeps out there, okay? Because he's drunk as fuck. So networking is something that you do when you have the skills, when you are good, when you put your nice shirt on, when you put the perfume on, when you groom yourself, you know, when you have a shower, etc., etc. That's when you start doing networking, when you are ready to go out there and network. But what I found is that bootcamp grads are being told to network all the time by their career coaches, right? And they do that and they get no results. And then they say it's difficult to get into this industry. Getting into tech is not difficult if you are good, but most people are not good and they come in and they get rejected, okay? And they suffer for absolutely no reason, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you here, okay? And obviously I'm promoting my services. I am doing this for a living. I have a business and I have like a bunch of people that I helped out with landing that first developer job. And we didn't even use any networking so far, only cold applications and a proper LinkedIn profile. And right now I'm actually building the networking part of the program, which is gonna blow out every single thing out there, okay? Trust me on that. But anyway, the point is, Networking is useless if your portfolio looks like this. All right, so what we see here is a portfolio from a student from uh, General Assembly. Let's refresh this and let's see this beautiful animation. Boom, right, impressive, absolutely impressive. And let's look at this animation. Amazing, that's what you get after you pay 15 G's, all right? This kind of stuff. Are these, I'm like going crazy, bro. Like, I don't even want you to buy my shit. But like, do you see like how ugly this is? Like, can you see, like even my students, I sent this to my students and everyone was like cringing. Like I have beginners that can make, beginners that have one month of experience. You can even join my free program. You can do what I'm saying there and you'll get better results than from this. <laughs> this is like, I'm cringing. Like, how can you, like, I feel sorry for the guy because he doesn't know any better, right? That self-awareness is missing from most people because they have no point of comparison. So in his mind, he's really good. He just needs to network more. But if I would be him right now, okay? If I would be him, I would scrap this entire website and if you are not good at design, if you finish the bootcamp or if you are a self-taught developer and if you want a website and if you are not a designer, you have two options. The first option is to get a website template from something like Team Forest or there are multiple website builders out there. There is no shame into having something like that. If you're not a designer and if you want to become a developer, do not attempt designing your stuff. Do not attempt designing your stuff. And, and let's say you don't want to use a website builder. You don't want to use a team. You want to build it yourself manually. Go and hire a designer from Fiverr, from Upwork. Pay 10, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 300 bucks. Pay 300 bucks to have a proper 
you know, design for your portfolio because guess who's gonna watch this the first time? A recruiter that doesn't know about your code. The recruiter doesn't know anything about your code, bro. He's gonna see this bullshit website is gonna label you as 2002. Recruiters and hiring managers already hate self-taught developers and, and bootcamp grads because they are only like people that are wasting their time with websites like this, with Pomodoros, with calculators, with weather apps, with boring shit like that. People are tired of seeing that. They don't wanna hire people without experience. And then when you put this on your resume and say, this is my website that I've been working on for the past three months, six months, you'll be automatically dismissed. They won't look at your code. They judge you by the book. If you have, if you have a book, right? You have two books. One that's done by an established author and one done by a brand new author. What are you gonna catch your, uh, the attention of the viewer that goes on Amazon to look for a new book? The cover, the title, the design. And then they'll start reading. They'll read the reviews, they'll read the whatever. They'll get a copy. Right? You are competing with established people and you need to stand out. And even if you have, let's say, two books, Art of War, one of them has a leather, uh, leather cover, right? With some golden embroisement or however it's called, like it looks like proper, right? And one is 100 bucks and then you have a $5 version of the same book. Same book, same information, same text, everything is the same. It's just the way it's presented is different and the way, because that information is presented in a different way, it costs more. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a good design for your portfolio, at least whatever we see here, so you can raise your value, at least for five seconds, at least for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. That's your elevator pitch. And most people don't have that. They don't have the mental power to understand that you will be judged by how this shit looks. And this looks like shit right now. Look at this button. Here at the top right, it's like a hover animation, but because I'm, I'm hovering in the wrong place, it's like flickering like this. You see, I caught a bug, he doesn't know that because his bootcamp coach says, this is fine. <laughs> Do you understand? Or am I just going crazy, right? And I click on this and then I go to projects. Let's see this magical projects. The pocket search. <laughs> 15 G's. Bro, my students do this before, I don't know, like the stuff that my students are doing is like way more complicated than this, but it's like total noob. Like they can't even put, they're not allowed to put this in their portfolio. They don't even have a portfolio, right? We are playing a different game. Let's look for a Pikachu. That's the only Pokemon I know. Let's look, search Pokedex. Boom, that's it, amazing. Let's see about Pokemon, different page, berries. I'm not learning things about me. Yeah, boring. Let's look at the next one. View, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Didn't do anything in two years. All right. Well, there you go. How much networking do you actually need to overcome all this? You let me know. Because I'm flabbergasted, oh, in my honest opinion. Like, Again, I don't care if he works with me or not. I don't care if he sees this and says that I'm butthurt that he didn't want to work with me. I don't really care about that, honestly. Like, I don't even have space in my calendar to take new people. You can check it out if you want. I'm fine. But whenever I see someone that needs my help, I reach out, okay? I reached out to him, I saw this, and I was like, maybe you want to go to General Assembly and you have 15 Gs and you want to spend it. Well, you can spend it better here because I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do every single day. And you won't have any of this. You won't have any of these bullshit projects. Okay, that's the beauty of what I do because 
With me, mediocrity doesn't fly. We have a few rules in my program and one is we do what's required and then we do the extras and then we do extra, right? And then the other rule that we have is we want to get hired for sure then hire quickly. That's why we, the program is unlimited, so it's until you get a job. That's why you're gonna get roasted and you're gonna get accurate feedback every single day, right? That's why instead of have a, having a website, you're gonna have experience from my company and you'll use that to get a job, right? That's why I don't have any mercy and I don't wanna make you feel good. I'm gonna roast you every single day until I'm proud of you, okay? And that's why you'll never be creating something like this in my life. And then again, it's not his fault. He just doesn't have the guidance. So that's the thing, you know, like you can have all the power and desire in the world and that's gonna help you get started and it's gonna help you make a few steps by yourself. But then don't confuse that with being good and being desirable because you can only do your best, but you need to do what's required in order to get hired and get paid a lot of money. And to do what's required, you need to know what's required. And if you don't know what's required, then you'll always be mediocre and average and probably you'll stay without a job in tech and then you'll blame the people in tech that you know they are not hiring that there are hiring freezes i hired four people in the last three months during hiring freezes how is that possible maybe my students know something that most people don't know Maybe I know something that's not on the internet. I would say so. <laughs> so if you wanna get access to my entire brain, I'll give it to you. If you wanna become a remote developer, get into a six figures career, work remotely, without wasting your time like a broke boy, you know, on Udemy, YouTube, all that bullshit, free code camp, code academy, blah, blah, blah. If you wanna get real results real fast, apply for a free consultation call. Links in the description, if there are spaces. Check if there are spaces. If there are, get it fast. Um, so yeah, that's it. Peace.